Let's bring in Dan Bongino, Fox News contributor, former New York City cop, former Secret Service agent, and author of Spygate, the attempted sabotage of Donald J. Trump. Um, Dan, uh, Mr. Schiff's talking about all that evidence. Uh, why couldn't Robert Mueller find it? Because there wasn't any, Steve. There was never any evidence. You know, I've been seeing a bunch of tweets this morning from blue check mark liberals and anti-Trump fake conservatives out there, and they keep saying this. Well, you know, the system worked. There was a serious allegation out there, and they investigated it, and they didn't find anything. No, the system never worked, Steve, ever. There was never any credible evidence that any of this happened. Steve, if you, Brian, or Ainsley's entire lives were disrupted because you were accused of a bank robbery, you never committed, right. and your friends and family and the network of people around you were bankrupted, hauled into court, and raided at 6 o'clock in the morning over a bank robbery you had nothing to do with, as a matter of fact, a bank robbery that never even happened in your neighborhood, you would be furious. Adam Schiff should resign in disgrace. Him and Eric Swalwell humiliated themselves, the United States Congress, the United States itself on a national stage accusing a sitting United States president of effectively treason. He should sign a citizen's contract to never enter the political realm again. He should engage in charity work for the rest of his life to try to redeem his broken, sorry soul. The only redemption for this whole thing I have is that the Lord Lord Almighty, he will have to answer to him one day for his disgraceful conduct for the last two years. Dan, he's not the only one. You have Tom Perez saying there was a mountain of evidence. You have Senator Blumenthal. Evidence is pretty clear. Swalwell, you mentioned string of evidence. Jerry Nadler, we know there was collusion. And now he's saying can't rely on it. Possibly hasty partisan interpretation of the report and not so-called total uh, exoneration that the president says. So he's not alone. The Democrats are spreading this message because they've seen the report and they don't like the results. You know, Ainsley, in, in business, they have an expression. When you've had a really bad quarter, they say, listen, let's just take a bath with the stockholders. In other words, mm -hmm. let's just pile all the bad information into one report, get it out there, let the stock take a beating and move on. It's time for the media to take a bath. Drop the L, fellas. Right. Schiff, Nadler, politicians, the media class who have, by the way, uh, listen, I get it. I work here now, but I'm not kissing this outlet's butt here at all. I don't need to. We were the only ones that played this straight ever. The only ones that played this straight. The media, CNN, MSNBC, were all in on the collusion hoax. I occasionally saw Chiron in an airport when CNN was on the only place their tens of viewers can see it. And it was a constant, nonstop collusion as if this actually happened. Fellas, ladies, take the loss. It's right. over. You got worked. There is no evidence. This is a well, complete I'll hoax, push back. and you bought in on I it. I read an opinion column on the CNN section today, and it said, keep in mind when you look at this picture, they said this, investigation did not establish that members of the Trump campaign conspired or coordinated with the Russian government. They said this, look at the word he does not explain, Barr does not explain that Mueller meant by establish or legal standard he may have used. So by Barr putting in the word establish they think it opens up a possible inquiry brian this is complete utter desperation this isn't like grasping at straws this is just complete humiliation on their part i, I read that not only that they're also claiming the president is not vindicated from obstruction as if they couldn't read the same four-page report i did he was vindicated completely. Attorney General Barr and Rosenstein. By the way, Brian Rosenstein, the same guy who signed so the smart Fort to keep FISA. Him there. So the, smart to, to keep him the there, right? So smart right. to keep him there in the final report because they would have said that Barr told him to take a walk and did it himself. But instead he said, stick around, write ah. this with me. You stole my thunder, brother. The Rod Rosenstein, what a genius move. Rod Rosenstein's signature is now on two critical documents. The fourth FISA which gave them the authority to spy on the Trump team. In other words, he did something wrong here. And the exoneration letter from the D Department of Justice, where his name is in there, indicating he said there's nothing to this. Let's move on. And one more thing on the, on the obstruction charge. They said also they didn't even consider the fact that the president couldn't be indicted, according to OLC, the Office of Legal Counsel. That's a good point. In other words, they looked at it anyway. 
because even though the president couldn't be indicted and they still could come up with no legitimately prosecutable charge of obstruction. The media is making this up and they're cra although they had no credibility left. Now they're just completely embarrassing themselves, misreading right. that four page. It's letter. like the Rams complaining that they lost the Super Bowl. They were crushed. <laughs> They lost. It's, it's over. It's over. Right. It's a move on. It yeah. wasn't the ref's call. You lost by 600 points. Move on. The game is over. It's not the right. ref. It's you. All right.